New developments now in a terror case involving a Warwick man. A judge is considering releasing Nicholas Ravinsky from prison and using what he calls an alternative form of punishment. Ravinsky was arrested back in 2015 and later pleaded guilty to charges that he and two others plotted to behead a conservative blogger. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with the latest developments. A federal judge in Boston is asking both prosecutors and Ravinsky's lawyers for ideas of sanctions other than imprisonment amid health concerns during the pandemic. Nicholas Ravinsky of Warwick was 25 years old when he was arrested in 2015 as part of a federal terror investigation. Ravinsky, along with David Wright and Osama Rahim, were accused of plotting to behead conservative blogger Pamela Geller. The plot was never carried out. In a Boston federal court filing last month, defense attorneys asked a judge to release Ravinsky to home confinement, citing Ravinsky's underlying health issues, including cerebral palsy and hypertension, they say making him at risk for the coronavirus. Ravinsky is serving his sentence at a federal prison in Danbury, Connecticut, which has had 91 inmate cases of the virus. Prosecutors objected, arguing Ravinsky had only served five years of a 15-year sentence. On Wednesday, a federal judge issued an order saying, while Mr. Ravinsky makes a strong case for compassionate release, he has served but a small portion of a fair and just sentence for most severe criminal conduct. The judge then called on both parties to advise the court as to what non-incarceration sanctions might be imposed upon him. Him. Ravinsky pleaded guilty to the charges and publicly denounced the terror group ISIS. As for the others involved in the plot, David Wright was sentenced to 28 years in prison. Rahim was killed by police back in 2015 after lunging at officers with a knife. The judge gave both sides 20 days to come up with alternative ideas of punishment for Ravinsky. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.